Hello my friends and subscribers. My name is Alexander Stepanov. And as I promised, I'm showing you the very popular video which I have deleted about six months ago. So subscribers asked me to upload this video again and show you again this transformation. In this video I will tell you all information about all products I use in my work. There are no not too many products but these are my favorite and you you should know about all these perfect products. At first let's roll down cuticles and this pusher is not miracle. You can use any type of pusher you get. It doesn't matter. And um, this one, this drill bit is a flame drill bit and it's better to use um, drill bit from the natural uh, the natural materials I mean um, don't don't use drill bits from cheap Chinese stores uh, you can hurt the skin with this drill bit and it's also uh, necessary to to use high quality nippers uh, I use two types of them uh, the, the of the brand of Stalex and um, the less expensive nippers which you I can see in my video now but now I use only Stalex because um, um, it's more safe for skin okay for preparing the nail plate it's necessary to uh, to work hard with with this nail plate because if we don't prepare it if we don't prepare it the gel will um, will have liftings and nails will not stay on more one day and as you can see in my video I also use the gel primer uh, and as you can see I neatly cover the, the whole surface and sometimes I also cover the skin with this with this primer because we should remove all liquids and oil from the nail plate. Okay, and sometimes I cure this primer in lead lamp. And as you can see, I'm using now the sculpting mix gel to apply the base coat. I can open the secret for you guys that we not always need to use the base gel for applying uh, the base coat and as you can see in this video I am using a sculpting mix gel and applying thin layer and cure it one minute in lead lamp it's necessary to cure it perfectly because uh, we also need to prepare the nail plate okay and now you see me uh, applying the length of the nail with the sculpting mix gel. This gel is not too liquid and not too dry and it helps me quickly apply this gel. Well, um, it's better to to place forms nail by nail. I can't give you advice uh, to do this way because if you apply nail of forms on each finger it can fail uh, fall off from the finger because sometimes forms are not sticky enough so it's easy to control it's easy to control them when you work with a particular uh, finger applying particular form. As you can see now I'm applying two coats of sculpting mix gel um, 
because this gel a little bit liquid and um, um, it's not the same technique as applying acryl for example on nail because we should um, do it we should apply more than one layer I'm, I'm placing one layer cured in lead lamp after that I'm proceeding with the other layer curing again in lead lamp sometimes it seems that uh, it's boring maybe you are right but um, I think that this is the best and the quickest way um, to do this shape of the nail I think this 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 is the best technique and the fastest technique after final um, polymerizing the gel in lead lamp we need to remove a tacky layer with the rubbing alcohol or other special liquid and I'm proceeding with the barrel jewel bead which always helps helps me to work easily and quickly for uh, fixing the shape and as you can see we can twist the hand and make the shape using the barrel jewel bead and you can be sure that it will help you to work faster some nail technicians still do their work so slowly so um, they just can't um, understand that we can apply things quicker and we can do more than than we expected but if you have never tried these jewel beads, I can suggest you to buy the one bead and try And I assure you, you will order 10 or 20 jewel beads the next time. Because I have this experience. A lot of customers of mine, um, they again and again order these amazing tools and be happy with them so you can read their comments under the video uh, video about the, how to order the tools you can read their reviews comments how they happy with these tools okay guys now I'm gonna show you how to apply something like baby boomer effect or I just I just can say um, I can say how it how it pronounce in English this uh, technique as you can see I have applied thin layer of scalp mimic gel close to the cuticles and the next layer I'm applying right on the middle and the last layer on the tip of the nail I'm using gel paints uh, of different brands you can order gel paints in my store you can mix them to achieve these colors for example you can mix uh, the Giorgio Cappuccini white gel paint with uh, one drop of um, Narcissus gel paint to achieve this this color uh, light light yellow color or beige color or you can you can take some particular color for example from the other brands gel paint I think that they also will be suitable for this nail design uh, as you can see I'm using the gradient brush for creating this effect and um, for, um, from the first sight it seems not neat and not uh, clear gradient 
But now um, I I can I will show you how to how to make it clear. As you can see, I'm mixing the matte top coat with the drop of uh, the gel paint of lighter light color of gel paint, and now I'm gonna show you how to make the miracle, how to how to finish this baby boomer effect. Maybe. I'm wrong with this name. We can uh, call we can call it the gradient of three colors on one nail. And in Russian language, um, sometimes we say we we call it like ombre or gradient. Um, so, as you can see, uh, this color is fading the previous colors and after curing it in lead lamp you will see that it will turn matte and I think that the effect of this gel will be will be nice after curing in lead lamp you can see that uh, some colors are still not clear but if you um, spend more time doing the grading gradient I think you will achieve more clear gradient but it doesn't matter I will make some patterns on these nails and these patterns will create the finish effect and uh, maybe my uh, not accurate gradient uh, will look more uh, original with such such patterns. I'm using gel paint of the brand Giorgio Cappuccini, and I think that only this gel paint is suitable for drawing such amazing patterns. Um, as you can see, it doesn't flow across the nail, and it. Uh, takes the the shape perfectly and I'm placing uh, clear glitter on the top of these patterns and cure it in lead lamp after curing I'm proceeding with the other nail and drawing thin lines using brush number 00 you can also buy this brush in my store uh, it has a fixed price $7 and this price um, don't change we have this price uh, for the year and um, um, this price uh, is is uh, fixed for for each product in my store the price is uh, is on in the information box under the video so you can open it and order any product you like or the list of products and I will send you to the uh, each, um, in any country you uh, wherever you are okay guys and as you can see it, it's easy to draw these patterns and um, you can just imagine the composition in your head and you can use you can also use this sketch and uh, create these patterns looking on this sketch okay guys and the last one a nail the last nail we, we, we cover with the clear glitter and cure it in lead lamp so that was before and now you will see how we changed the nail uh, all nails i think this nail design is amazing and this client uh, will ha is happy with such fantastic nails if you like this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel in the next video i will try to 
make something new for you. Bye.